Okay, so the mode keyboard is one of the most popular keyboards right now in the keyboard community. And honestly, there's a lot of great features in it, which make it one of the most popular. I've been using mine since the beginning of 2023, and it's still to this day, the main one that I reach for every single day when I'm kind of choosing which keyboard I want to use. I like the way it feels, but more than anything, I like the design of it, which is something that I, mm -hmm. I honestly always mm -hmm. am pushing for getting kind of a clean design, a brand new design, because you guys know that a lot of keyboards, mm -hmm. they kind of look the same, especially when you're looking at something from keyboard to keyboard and some designer to a different designer a lot of the designs are exactly the same so it's nice to see something that has something different and mode has always done this thing with their accent bars and this time on the mode sonnet you can kind of see it up at the front it's facing you so you always see whatever accent you decide to go with now mode is a company that is selling their keyboard kits kind of on the more premium especially if you're someone that's coming from a pre-built from something like keychron or newfie those might already seem really expensive to you from the 150 to 200 these are going to be a bigger upgrade they do have another keyboard coming out later this year in july that's the mode envoy i'm going to be picking that one up that one is more in the range of the pre-builds kind of like the keychron q series or the q pros that one's going to be in that price range but it is going to be a keyboard kit and you're going to be able to kind of customize it it still has accent bars it still has weights and you can kind of choose exactly how you want to build it out and still get that experience so make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys are wanting to know exactly what that mode envoy brings and kind of what the design uh, aspects of it are and yeah just so you guys can see whether the mode envoy is something that you guys should pick up later make sure you guys get subscribed but the main thing I want to talk about is the mode sonnet and its design, which is the main reason I got it for. Like I mentioned, it does have a clean design. I do like that you can kind of customize it the way you want. I've had other keyboard kits where they kind of tell you as soon as you buy it, here's exactly what it comes with. Here's exactly how you're going to go ahead and build it. But the mode sonnet, as soon as you're about to purchase it, you do get to design exactly how you want it to look. It comes in two pieces. There is a top piece and a bottom piece, which are the two biggest things. And then it does have an accent bar across the top. As you guys can see on my keyboard, I made the, the black accent bar, but there are other colors that you guys can choose. And they do have limited drops on Patina copper ones as well as wood tone ones. If you guys have seen that, they didn't do a collab with Mod Musings. So they do have a light oak in case you guys want something a little different. Now I will mention that depending on what choices you go with, the base model or the base price can get kind of high. So make sure you guys keep an eye on that before you guys kind of decide exactly what you guys want. I went with one that was kind of in the middle. It's not the cheapest one that they offer, but it's also not the most expensive because I'm still not at a point where I can see myself spending more than $600 on a keyboard, but it still looks really great. And all the pieces here are very premium. The aluminum is very well. The two pieces, once you stick them together or once you screw them in together, honestly, it fits really well it fits seamless and there's not really anything different or anything that i would change about it and i did buy this keyboard right before you're allowed to engrave it so now there is an engraving service offered by mode as soon as you purchase it you do have to purchase a whole kit but you can add an engraving to the bottom piece so that you can put your logo or put a design that you want or your name or really your uh, username your gamer tag really whatever you guys want you can go ahead and set that up down at the bottom of the piece which honestly is really great I'm not too upset that I missed out on it because again, when I buy something for a design, I like to be able to see it. I don't really like anything that's going to affect the bottom side of it because you can't really tell anyways. And it's not something that you look at every single day. But I think that's really cool that they offer different designs and they do keep adding many different color options. So if you guys keep up with it, you guys can get something that you guys really like. And you guys can even go on to their online configurator and kind of set it up. Like I said, you guys can decide what you guys want the top piece, the bottom piece, the accent. And there is an internal weight, which you guys can decide which one you guys want. I personally went with the black and white version just because it matches my setup better and I've been really liking white accessories with some black accents. So that's why I went with this one and I look I think it looks really clean. I went with some PBT keycaps from PBT fans and I'm also using some tactile switches, the glorious pandas as well as the carbon fiber plate, carbon fiber plate 
on this keyboard as well as using the stack mount kind of like i mentioned just because i like it to be more tactile and whenever i'm using the top mount it does feel a little more springy so if that's something that you're into it does have a different mounting option so that it can be a little more springy for you I personally like the tactility and when a keyboard is rigid, so I do keep it in the stack mount version, mount, stack mount, mount. Now, something that Mode really has going for them is that all of their keyboards are still in stock, even though they do run kind of a pre-order or a group buy kind of method. Once that group buy is done, they do keep their keyboards in stock. So like I mentioned, you can get the Mode Sonnet right now. It's available on their website. There are some parts that aren't really available because they do sell out. But again, if you just follow them or you kind of wait, they do have launches and they do restock a lot of these parts very often. But mo mainly it's more like every month they do a huge restock and then you can get exactly the configuration that you want. And like I mentioned earlier, there are two different mounts available for the Mode Sonnet. There is a top mount that's going to be a little more springy, a little more flexible, kind of like gasket mount. I don't really like that because whenever I'm setting up my keyboard with tactile switches, I do like feeling the tactility and I feel like whenever it's springy, it does kill a lot of the tactility of the switch itself. So I did go with the stack mount, which basically just is a sandwich mount. It's just stuck to the bottom of the keyboard. It does add rid rigidity. I don't know. It, it adds a rigid feeling and it does add tactile feedback to my switches, which I really like as well as muting the sound a bit. So unfortunately it is a little more muted. I have tried the the PC plate, the polycarbonate plate, as well as trying out the carbon fiber, which I have on right now. And I still personally like the carbon fiber more. Again, I feel like it's a little bit more of the being a little more rigid rather than flexible. The PC plate did kind of bounce a little bit too much for me. So I do like the carbon fiber, which is exactly what I'm rocking now with the glorious Panda switches. And speaking of the switches, this keyboard is a keyboard kit. So for those of you that don't know what a keyboard kit is, it basically doesn't come with switches or with keycaps or with stabilizers. So kind of like whenever you buy it from Keychron, you can buy their kind of pre-built version that brings you with keycaps. You choose kind of what switch option you want. And then there are stabilizers on the space bar, enter key, backspace, and then the left shift. If you're in America, those are the four different or the four main ones that have stabilizers. If you're buying a keyboard kit, you actually have to buy every single one of those separate. Luckily, Mode does sell all three of those now. They are still some on pre-order. I believe their keycaps and some of their switches are on pre-order, but they do sell stabilizers. So whenever you buy the Mode Sonnet, you can buy it straight from them so that everything comes together all at once. And then you can just build your keyboard there and then. But there are other options if you don't want to go for theirs, whether you don't like their switches, you don't like their keycap design, you can buy them somewhere else. Amazon is well known to have different kinds of switches and keycaps available, especially for pretty cheap. Now I can't speak for the quality because a lot of these are going to be cheaply made compared to something like the mode ones or going through PBT fans or GMK. A lot of the ones on Amazon are going to be a lot cheaper just because it kind of mass produced, but they're still a great option. I've used a few of them from there, especially for the XDA profile, which is really difficult to find. Amazon does have some available straight and they even have the Mac keycap legends so that you can use it for your Mac and not have to worry about whether you have a Windows key or a Mac and command key. So that's a, another option as well. So for my build, I didn't go with everything from mode because I'm kind of impatient and didn't want to wait for the keycaps. So I did get everything third party. I got the PBT fans black on white. I got the glorious panda switches, which are very tactile. And they're one of my biggest recommendations. If you like a tactile switch, they are available on Amazon. I'm going to be linking everything down in the description. And then I did get the carbon fiber plate and I'm using the Duroc V2 stabilizers that are screwed in into the plate and I got those for mode I like just with my keyboard kind of like I mentioned earlier that's probably the best option and yeah so that's exactly how I have my build I am going to be including a typing test of the polycarbonate plate and the carbon fiber plate at the end of this video but that's all I have for you guys today let me know down in the comments is the mode sonnet a keyboard that you are going to be getting for yourself or are you going to be skipping this one and waiting for the Envoy? Let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.